Hello and welcome to the first Eschwabanon Technology Integration uh, screencast. My name is Jamie Averbeck and I'll be walking you through today how we can use Google Docs in the classroom. Um, specifically today we are going to be working with the form or with Google Form. Um, to access Google Docs and Google Form you need to first on your internet, your internet browser go to the Google home page. Okay, once you're on the Google home page, um, Google will have a more setting. You need to click on more and go to documents. Once you're on that documents page, it's going to ask you to log into a Google account. Um, if you do not have a Google account, you can click here to create an account now. It's a fairly simple process. But however, a lot of you will have Google uh, will have a Google account because this includes any Gmail account or any previous account you might have had with Google. So go ahead and log in to your Google account and hit sign in. Okay, and this is the home page of Google Docs. Okay, today we are going to be creating a new document. So I'm going to go to create new and I'm going to show you how to create a form. Okay, a Google form is basically um, an online questionnaire. Um, you could use it as a survey, a quiz, or just a way to um, kind of check for student um, knowledge. Basically it's a pretty easy user-friendly idea. You can title your form. I'm going to call this just for this purpose we'll call it a uh, favorite color form. We will be using this form today to find out our favorite ooh, typing is bad today colors okay now you can choose how many questions you want um, you can always go back and change my first question I want to use this as a way to figure out more about my students so my first question is I want to know their name okay so it's going to be I want to say what is your name and you can choose whether or not you would like them to give their answer in a text format, paragraph text, you can give them multiple choice or a check spot, checkbox, um, scales, grids, whatnot. Help text, um, I'm not really sure, so we'll, we'll type something in. Um, maybe we'll tell them, you know, we want their first name. So I'm, I, I think this is going to give them like a hint. Okay. And I want to make this a required question, so I'm going to hit done. And see what it does is this is what it would look like in form view. What's your name? And then it says first name underneath. So that's where a student can answer their name. Okay. I'm going to go back. I'm going to add another text question. I'm going to get rid of this one. Second question I'm going to add is what is your favorite? color. And maybe for the help text I might give them some options. Is it red? Is it blue? Green? Yellow? Brown? Um, if my son was here he would say magenta. So I'll throw that in there. Etc. And again I want this to be text and again I want this to be a required qu question. Okay. And I'll hit done. So now you can see I have two parts to my form. Okay. And I can be done. This is this this could be it. It can be as simple as this. But I want to go and I want to maybe spice it up a little bit and change the theme. So I can do that simply by adding um, by clicking on where it says theme plane and it's going to give me some options here. Okay. There are all sorts of options, but because we're doing favorite colors, you know, I want something a little colorful. Let's see if I can find something here I'm gonna go for next. I'm gonna get a little bit more options. There are literally hundreds of these. I think I like waves. So I'm gonna click on waves and now it automatically takes what I had and it, it makes it into this. Okay. And I'm gonna hit save to, or I'm gonna hit apply to apply my theme and now it says theme waves. Okay. 
And now down here it says you can view the published form here. And this is the URL that you would then copy into your um, website or onto your wiki page or wherever. You also could just, you know, write this up on your whiteboard and have students, if they have netbooks or what have you, enter in the, in the, enter in the address from there. So I'm going to go to this page and kind of show you what it looks like. So on this page, and let's say, you know, my name is Bob, and my favorite color is red. And I hit submit. And now this is going to say, okay, you can create your own form, which you might want your students to do later at some point, but not right now, or you can go back to the form. So if you only had one computer for four students, you know, a different student, then they could share their student with someone else. So maybe um, Sue is going to say her favorite color is green. Hit submit. Okay. And they can go back to the form. Okay. And close this. I'm just going to close out. And close out of this. And now what you're going to see is this. Back in my Google Docs homepage, it's going to have my modified today. It's going to have my favorite color um, form that I made. I click on it. And you're going to say this looks very different. What happens with Google is every time it creates a form, it creates a spreadsheet in the background. I can still get to my form by clicking on here. I can go to the live form. I can edit the form. If I want to edit my form, I'm right back where I was before. I can add another question if I want to. I can add an item up here and add more to this. I can change the theme. I can email this form. More actions. You can embed it. If you wanted to embed it into a wiki or onto a web page, you could do that. I can see a summary. If I want to see the summary of the events, I can say right now that here are the two people that are in, number of daily responses, and what my favorite colors are. Okay, I'm going to close this. But the nice thing is now I have a timestamp of when my students did this, who they are, what their favorite colors are. Now granted I did a, a pretty pretty elementary topic, but this could be questions, you know, from a reading you gave for homework the night before. You could use this as a quick uh, quiz to see, you know, how your students comprehended. You also could have them do keywords about a character. And then you could copy and paste those words. into a Wordle or you know into some kind of word cloud generator and show that. The nice thing is um, this is all in the cloud so it's uh, connected to your Google account so whether on your home computer on your home machine whether you're on a Mac or a PC you can access Google Docs you can access Google Docs on an iPad um, or any other tablet for that matter so it's it's a neat way for your students to basically collaborate in real time you get real time results you could have the spreadsheet open on your desk you might have to hit the refresh button um, to get basically a, an exact time updated of, of your student responses but this is an excellent tool um, for your students to use um, this is going to conclude our screencast today on how you could use Google Docs or specifically Google Forms. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at javerbeck at eshwabanon.k12.wi.us or um, you can use the scheduler on our um, technology integration webpage. Thank you and have a great day.